Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add WhatsApp to your Wix website or how to add Facebook Messenger or Telegram to your Wix website. The first option is if you would like to add WhatsApp, once on your admin dashboard as you can see right here, you are going to scroll down from the left hand menu option and from there I want you to go over to communications. Then you are going to tap on chat. After tapping on chat, a new page is going to open up and on this new page all you'll need to do is tap on channels from the top right here. After you have tapped on channels, let's say for example you only want to add WhatsApp, you could simply tap on WhatsApp settings. Then from here you could enter your WhatsApp phone number. And you can also add the pop-up message that you want. As you can see, we're available on WhatsApp during X or Y time. You can change that. Then once you're finished, you'll tap on save. And your WhatsApp icon will pop up on your Wix website in the bottom right-hand corner. But if you want to add more than one icons and you want to add, let's say, for example, Facebook Messenger or so on, to do this, all you'll need to do is tap on home. Then once you have tapped on home and you're on the home page again, you are going to tap on design site in the top right hand corner. Once you have tapped on design site, you will be redirected to the editor page. And once on the editor page, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap on the four boxes that says add apps. After you have tapped on add apps, you'll be redirected to the Wix app market and I want you to tap in the search bar right here and you're going to type in WhatsApp. So let's type in WhatsApp. Then you're going to select WhatsApp. After you have selected WhatsApp, I want you to scroll down a bit. As you can see right here. And the one that I would recommend you use is this one right here because it offers a free plan. And you can also see that it is highly rated. And as I say, with this app, you will be able to add TikTok, Instagram, Facebook Messenger, or any one of these apps that you want, any one of the social media apps that you want. All you have to do is tap on Add to Site. Once you have tapped on Add to Site, you are going to tap on Agree and Add. Then give it a few seconds. Meanwhile, the app is being added. Once it has been added, you'll be redirected to a login page. And all you'll need to do is enter your first and last name. Let me do that real quick. Then you are going to create a password. After you have created the password, you are going to tap on Let's Get Started. Then once you have tapped on Let's Get Started, again, we are going to be using the free plan. So we are going to tap on Select Free. Then from here, you can add new domain. So you can add, a, for example, I'll name this test. Then you are going to add your domain right here. So all you'll need to do is go back into Wix. So let's go back into Wix real quick. Or better yet, you can go right here and you can simply tap on save. Let's tap on save real quick. And once we have tapped on save, we are going to select publish. So let's select publish in the top right hand corner. Once the site has been published, all you'll need to do now is simply copy the URL or you could tap on view site. Then we are going to copy our URL. Once we have copied our URL, we are going to go back into GoChatty and we are going to paste the domain name right here. Then we are going to tap on start creating. And you can see right there, after you have tapped on start creating, you will be redirected to this page and you can add WhatsApp as you see right here. If you would like to add Messenger, you could tap on Messenger. You can also add your phone number if you would like to add a direct phone number. If you would like to add Line, if you would like to add Telegram or Skype or LinkedIn, you can add any one of these social media platforms. So if you like to add Twitter, you can also do that. If you like to add TikTok or Snapchat, you can do that as you can see right there. 
this allows you the option to add almost any social media app then you are going to scroll down once you are sc scrolling down you are going to enter your whatsapp information or you can enter your phone number right here then you are going to tap on settings below it and you can change the color of the icon if you want and you can also change the text if you want once you are finished with everything all you will need to do is tap on save widget so let me tap on save widget then I'll tap on I'll do it later after you have done that you are going to see right here your first widget is up now all you will need to do is tap on go to site once you have saved it if you were to go back to your website you would see it on the right hand menu option you can see it on mine because of the screen saver that I'm using it cut off a part of the screen so for example if I were to tap on Facebook you would see that it automatically opens Facebook right there and if you would like to edit it or if you'd like to make any other changes all you'll have to do is go back into gochatty.app and then from there you'll be able to edit it as you can see right here and you'll also be able to view the amount of visitors and the amount of unique clicks that it gets as you can see here and if you would like to install the code instead if you are not seeing it on your app on your Wix website all you'll need to do is go up to the top right hand corner tap on installation code and you can see your code is automatically installed on your Wix website by Chatty. So it is automatically there. So all you'll need to do is go back into Wix editor. Then tap on done. And once you have done that right there, you can see edit mobile site. No, you won't do that. So once the app has been installed now, all you'll need to do is tap on save again. then we'll tap on done or we'll tap on publish now let's select publish now then we are going to select view site 